What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have a very special fantasy attire video for you guys. If you follow this channel, if you followed it for a while, if you know me, if you're friends with me, if you talk to me on the daily, you know that I absolutely love the color white. It is my favorite color. It is my last name, and I love it. I love it so much. Um, I'm an athlete, and I play sports, and in high school, my senior year, we had an all-white football uniform. It was awesome. It was so beautiful. I loved it so much. I always had my white accessories to go with it, and it was just so swag. It looked so good, and I love the way these figures look i have a full custom mdt lineup for you guys right here all in white attire i do have a few more in the works i'm not going to give any names but i do want you guys to know that we have more fantasy custom white attires coming very very soon but right here we have five guys that i want to go all the way through and show you all of these white attires. I'm sure you've seen all of these at least once on this channel, but I want to give you an in-depth look at all of them. Um, a lot of people wanted to know what uh, this Seth Rollins looked like up to that uh, Roman Reigns, so we'll take a closer look at that as well, but let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, guys, starting out first with my second favorite wrestler of all time. We have this Elite Fantasy Custom MDT Randy Orton, and I love it so much. This one was actually made by BEW, and I believe the rest of them on this list were made by me, and only me, besides like the head and arms on Neville. But here we go, getting into this attire, you have the white wrist tape, and the white trunks, and in the trunks, the designs are gray and black, and I love that contrast right there. If you see, you can tell that the letters are gray, and then the outline is black, and all of it with the white all together just looks absolutely fantastic. I love the way it came out in the end. Um, I had this idea. I pitched it to BEW, and he said, yeah, bro, let's run with it, so... He totally hooked it up. I'm not the biggest fan of the head scan. I told him to uh, paint it up that way, and I thought it would be really, really cool, but it didn't turn out as best the way I would like it to, so I will be doing a head swap. I've said that multiple times in videos, but um, I still haven't gotten around to it. We only have black knee pads and black boots, though. I didn't want it to be overloaded on white because sometimes uh, less is more. So this is the Randy Orton, so now we are moving on to the next one. Up next, guys, we have this fantasy attire, Rey Mysterio, and what I did was I took the Elite 11 Rey Mysterio, I believe, and you know that comes with the half black and half white um, pants and mask with, uh, I don't think he has sleeves on that one, but I took a Rey Mysterio basic, and what I did was I took the arms and head off of that figure, and then I removed all of the black paint off the legs. That way I would have full white pants, and I'm so glad that it turned out this way. I didn't know if it would work, but it totally did. I'm so freaking happy with the result. I want to paint Mexico right here into that blue color that you see on the arms right there, um, so it would be, you know, all tied together, and I'd like to do like 619 or something on this side, but I feel like that's a job for BEW since it's blank and I don't have really a reference to do. So maybe the hand-painted club founder BEW can get in there and do something fantastic with it. But I love the way this Ray looks. The all-white all together looks so clean. I also replaced the shoes. They were black. I replaced them with the Elite Purple and Yellow Ray. I replaced the feet with that... Uh, with the feet from that figure so that it would all tie together and I'm very happy with the result. Up next guys we have another one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. We have Triple H the game right here. The head scan was made by Showstopper Custom Figs but the rest was all done by yours truly. Let me go ahead and widen his arms right here a little bit so you guys can check out these uh, this attire. Um, right here we have the um, the white trunks and this is the Elite 35. I use the Elite 35 base and I painted all of the trunks. Um, they were black and white, and I pretty much just switched the um, I switched the colors around. So it's basically just a flip flop. Um, if I can get close right here, so you guys can see, you see the skull pattern. And I didn't want to completely flip everything. You can still see the uh, the cross with the white outlines with the black inside there. I didn't want to completely get up in there because it would have got really uh, messy. I believe I'm not as steady hand painted as people think. But um, I am happy with the way it turned out. We got the white tape on there already. Um, I wanted to keep the black elbow pads and knee pads because I thought it would uh, contrast really well. I used the legs from the Elite WrestleMania 33 Triple H that comes with the skull mask. 
and uh, because it has the white tape behind the knees and then I painted the knee pads these are usually red but I painted them black so it got that white outline I think that looks fresh and then my favorite part of the whole figure is the boots um, I gave it 47.5 Brian Pillman boots and it all tied together very nicely I love this Triple H probably my favorite Triple H in my collection even though it is not accurate it is completely made up but I love the way it looks so we're moving on to the next one up next, guys, we have my boy Neville right here, and this was before he wore that white attire at SummerSlam. So when he wore that white attire at SummerSlam, I was like, Neville, you freaking copier, but nah, I don't think he really saw the custom that me and BEW made right here. BEW made this head scan, and it's the best Neville head scan by far. He crushes Mattel's work, and it is just so beautiful. It looks so badass. He looks so evil. It looks just like King Neville. The only gripe I would have is maybe the hair be longer, but it still just looks so badass. I love the way it looks. And he completely nailed that. This is a Cody Rhodes torso and crotch. It's the Elite 20, I think. And I just removed all the decals off the trunk. So it sucks that there's no design on there. But that should be easy to do. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, John Cena arms. I like these way better than the um, ones that Mattel uses. I think this is a good um, formula for Neville. Cody Rhodes with uh, HBK lower legs and everything. I just love the way this came out. I painted the thigh wraps on there because you know he always wears knee braces or something behind his knee pads. BEW did paint up the arms with the gauntlets and the knee pads. Um, and then I used HBK lower legs to get that white behind there so I wouldn't have to paint the calves or knees. And then it has this black top of the kick pads. And then I just put Tyson Kidd kick pads on there with paint removed to get the all white look. I would love to paint a design on the trunks and kick pads but just haven't gotten around to it yet. But I love this Neville and definitely one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, we have the big dog Roman Reigns in this custom fantasy attire MDT freaking white, gold, and black. It looks so amazing. I love this so much. Um, the last time you saw this in a video, guys, it did not have the decal on it. I had to show you a picture of it. Um, but I did get the gauntlet uh, decals on there as well, and it just looks so freaking clean. I love it. Um, I did actually um, have to reapply the decal. It actually fell off. It got torn last time, and this time I actually reapplied it a little bit slightly crooked, but it's not too, too bad. I'll probably replace it if it bothers me enough. But this Roman Reigns looks so badass. I love the incomplete white attire. I wish he would do something like this at least once. Um, but people wanted to see this money shot right here. People wanted to see this Roman up next to this Seth. And Jesus Christ, how beautiful is that right there? It looks so clean. A lot of people wanted me to take a Dean Ambrose Elite 36 right here. And they wanted me to paint up the belt and pants. Like make the pants white and then do a gold belt or something like that. I don't know if I will do that. Um, leave a comment down below if you would love to see that. But there is the money shot between the Elite 45 Seth and the Custom Elite Roman Reigns. But I love this Roman so much. All I did was paint everything white and then add the CM Punk elbow pad. And I just think this looks so freaking nice and clean. It really pops off here in the video. And adding that gold and black decal really does it justice. And I am just so freaking in love with this Roman Reigns attire. Alright guys, but that is going to do it for this custom fantasy white attire video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Which figure is your favorite from the set? Let me know down in the comment section below. Can we get this video to 300 likes? Go ahead and try for that. If we get more than 300 and you're watching this right now, push it to 4, push it to 5, whatever the next 100 mark is, push it to that. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.